any story that I could find, you know, it was just uh, it was a time of celebration and, and in some weird night. way, shocking myself in that bar was a way of celebrating as well. Back to what oh, happened. A lot cooler today days, than it was America. yesterday, you as you can tell. It's not a pain in the ass to get out of the parking lot. We have power again. The world churns. Also Friday, the campus is already shut down for the weekend, and there's no late classes on Friday. But yeah. Stop sign, yellow, yellow, yellow. Right, frog, right. green. So, exhaustion and extreme heat and they're paid a pittance for that work and this is a violation of international human rights 
And how much is Golnora Karimova connected to, you know, the, those uh, allegations of, of abuses of child labor? And, and how much is she connected to the policies of her own father? I mean, she's not the president. She's the daughter of the president. We know, again, Uzbekistan is, is a tough nut to crack. It's a virtually closed country. My organization and myself were actually expelled from the country just a few months ago for documenting human rights abuses, such as forced child labor and, and, and torture. Um, so it's really hard to gauge specific culpability here. But what we do know, and, and why we and other groups felt that uh, Karimova shouldn't be appearing at Fashion Week, is that she is the official representative of her government at the United Nations in Geneva. Uh, for many years now, the UN has been trying to send human rights experts into the country. We've been calling on the Uzbek government to let us operate in the country, uh, to let us visit with human rights defenders that are in prison, and they continue persistently to deny those requests. Now, when you were in uh, Tashkent in Uzbekistan before uh, Human Rights Watch was kicked out, presumably you spoke with lots of Uzbeks. Uh, if you asked them what they thought about uh, Golnara, Karimova, what would they say, honestly? I mean, do they see her as an international celebrity fashion designer, someone they admire? You know, it's interesting. WikiLeaks just uh, released a trove of cables not too long ago. And in fact, one of those cables uh, from the U.S. Embassy on the ground was saying that most Uzbeks see uh, Gulnara Karimova uh, in a very bad light as a sort of repressive figure. Um, I uh, and Human Rights Watch weren't able to get specific comments um, from, from Uzbeks on her, but uh, I can tell you that we bore witness to the repression there, which is pervasive, and there's certainly no freedom of expression. And the freeways. There's no ability to demonstrate right. publicly about any of the issues there, including their government officials. Steve Swordlow with Human Rights Watch, thanks very much for speaking with us. Thank you, Marco. Finally today, music.